So school is about to begin, and if you're a teacher that uses Seesaw, I have five awesome back-to-school activities that you can use with your students on the first few days of school. But before I share those, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, where each week I'll be uploading new videos on a variety of different topics. So thank you for your consideration, and now let's talk Seesaw. So if you use Seesaw, I want to share five really great back to school activities that I found in the Seesaw Community Library. And the teacher links to all of these activities can be found in the video description below. This is one by Jen Harding. This one is a brown paper bag activity, which is a great activity if you've done this in class, but you can also do this virtually. Each student will pick five different things that represent them. They'll start by using this template. From here, they will add a special item using the creative canvas and type why that item is special to them. At the end, they'll fill out this reflection page. And once they finish, they can submit it and the teacher can then learn about each student and they may even want to share this for the whole group. Next, we have this back to school word search designed by Elizabeth Akers. This is very similar to a regular crossword puzzle, but students will use the creative tools like the pencil, highlighter, pen, and eraser to spot some of the words in the puzzle. Next is a back to school all about me activity by Mrs. Brooke. This is a great way for students to introduce themselves to the teacher. They'll start by taking a selfie of themselves and completing each prompt on the canvas. At the end, they can decorate their work. Once they finish, they can hit the green submit button to share with the teacher a little bit more information about themselves. Next is the back to school sentence starter activity by Beth Webster. This is a great activity for social emotional learning on the first few days of school where students will use the creative canvas to type and answer each one of these prompts. They can also use the microphone to explain their writing. And lastly, we have this back to school emotion check-in. And lastly, we have this back to school emotions check-in activity by Miss Rennie. This is a short activity where students can go through each one of these two pages and select how they are feeling. At the end, they can explain why they chose that emoji and if there's anything else that they need. They may also want to create a selfie. They may also want to record a video or maybe even record audio using the microphone. So you can find links to all of these activities in the description. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you have questions, leave them below, and I hope that you have a great start to the school year.